Hello and welcome, Paul here, and today I am playing Black Desert Online. Now today is pretty special because two classes have released, and one of them is the one I've been waiting for. The classes are the Blader and Plum, or now known as the Musa and Mewa, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I probably am not. So to sum it up, the Blader and Plum are essentially samurai styled characters that use katanas and bows but i want to point out that i don't believe they're actually based off samurai there is actually a i think it's a korean type of warrior but i can't really pin it down because people are saying that the armors are from different cultures and you know they don't necessarily use these weapons so it, it's hard to say but that aside this is the class I've been waiting for. Now, what I'm going to do with this is do a little journal, as it were, of me playing as my blader. And I'm going to be talking about it, talk about Black Desert Online, and I'm slowly going to level him up and I'll explain more once we get in game. It'll be kind of a, a let's play, but not necessarily. Now, one thing I want to point out is that when the warrior released or when the game released i played a warrior i basically power leveled him up in a couple of days and that was that this time round, i'm going to take my time i'm going to enjoy the scenery check out all the quests enjoy the main storyline and yeah hopefully you'll enjoy it too There goes my horse. Allow me to introduce you to Taofang. The name you've probably heard me use before in different video series I have. This was the one I wanted to use for my blader. Don't worry, you'll be fine soon. I know you are strong, aren't you? You haven't forgotten about our contract rights. I'll help you now. Okay, we need to shake this off. The spirit's just like, go on, walk it off, you're fine. There we go. Enter the black spirit. Okay. So, this is Taofang. I had a look at different templates for bladers and it was kind of hard to find because they're all either Russian or Korean. But none of them looked like what I wanted. So I spent some time and I finally came up with something I quite like, which was this guy. And uh, yeah, this is Taofang. Anyway. We need to talk to this geezer, so let's go and do that. Probably could have made him a bit taller, because, I mean, if I go up to one of these guards, how tall am I? I'm not too tall. But honestly, that doesn't matter. That was one of the things, like, if I get my warrior, though, probably dwarfs this guy. But honestly, it doesn't matter to me. My character looks cool, that's all that matters, and if in combat, yeah, it's going to be fine. So, we're talking to this deer. Am I on a pilgrimage? There we go, he just gave me a potion. Gonna need to drink that. Pull it down. Alright, so we've got our quest, we're going to move on. Let's knock that off. And I have a feeling that there is going to be probably like 10,000 bladers and plums at the location where they all phase in, so we'll see how that goes. I like that... Alright, let's go. I like that each class gets its own little starting bit. 
but it all leads on to this. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. You're a new face. Are you from abroad? Jared, the princess of Hyrule, just visited. There we go. Now we're doing the old talk to Eden and find out what's what. Never stop seeking light, even in the deepest darkness. Still trying to decide if the height is going to bug me that much. I don't think so. But before I go on, can I access the merchant store or the black markets, whatever you want to call it in this game? The answer is yes. So I wanted to check this out before I do anything. There is a starter package that adds this armor set. I don't particularly like it, but what else does it add? Wilderness weapon and outfit sets. Python box of briefs. Brown guy. Okay, you get a pet. That's not bad. Inventory expansion slot. Some of those are okay, but nothing I necessarily need. A few other outfits, which again look kind of terrible. Carlston outfits. This one is quite neat. And that sword looks... Uh, that sword doesn't look as great as the warrior. And yeah, I don't know if I'm an actual fan of this. And what else did we get given? This one. Again, not really a fan. Hang on, did I miss one? I feel like I've missed an outfit. Oh, the wilderness. Well, that's not too bad. It's not something I would particularly want to use, and the outfit I would like to use is not available yet. But soon, I will be dropping money on it. I can count on it. Anyway. Costumes, costumes. There's a riding guitar that you can get. Now, which increases horse stuff. The old ghillie suit and fisherman suit. So if I strip my costume, I'm just curious about the damage decay on this. There is, oh, it's actually in my weapon. Fair enough. Fair enough. Is your body ready? <laughs> uh, I guess so. And while we're here, we'll have a quick look at the uh, Mewa. Mewa looks pretty cool. I may end up making one. They've got some kind of weird looking outfits as well. Out of curiosity, she gets a hood which is neat. But um, yeah. Let's close out of this and get back in game. Anyway. Let's move on, find the skill instructor and get bombarded by a few hundred bladers and plums starting their tutorials. You're from the east, right? Your clothes... Your clothes me that, okay? We all have a strong attachment to this town. Alright, so he's basically telling me how he knows some of the fighting styles. But it's basically you just got a book and he's been reading. Divide a consecutive... Uh, Consecutively slice enemies with a charged blade. I'm going to learn that. Okay. So far, so good. Alright. Let's have a go. Oh. Here they are. We're all brothers and sisters of the blade. And there's the giants. Alright, anyway.
Alright, so... Okay, there we go. Press E, key to use the divider skill. Done. What's next? Press F to perform a secondary attack. Done and done. So far, so good. We should be the ones to defend our own land. Let's just see what the spirit wants before continuing on. Grass beetles, we can do that. Now, one thing I would like to say, as I mentioned earlier, I power leveled my warrior when I got the game and I missed out on a lot of quests and I'm still having to go back and try and finish them. So honestly, this time round, I'm not rushing this guy. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to enjoy it fully and I'm going to experience everything I can. Now I know that other people prepared for their prepared for their blade release and they basically got, you know, plus 15 enchanted uh there he is with his gear looking pretty uh pretty sweet. I almost wonder if I should have gone for the long hair but as it flares around as he's swinging his sword but no I quite like how my character looks. But uh people had you know their character set up with all the best gear they could possibly get at the moment and yeah, honestly, as cool as that would have been, and I, I might, have, might have wanted to try it out, I'm thinking I'm going to take my time, and I'm just going to slowly gear up as I level. There's no rush. Ash's guild is kind of small at the moment. A few members have, you know, maybe burnt out from the game, so we're always recruiting in Ashes if anyone wants to join us. We're on EU servers on Jordine. But, uh, yeah. I'm not going to be participating in any guild wars just yet and I'm not bothered about rushing to the max level, well, the highest level you can get without going crazy uh, just to PvP, so we're just going to take our time, enjoy it and hopefully make some money for my characters if I'm honest. But uh, let's go and kill some grass beetles. There we go. Grab all these quests. I think a lot of these automatically complete because I already have knowledge on some of these beasts. So, and yeah, I quite like this. Uh, the animations on this dude from running to everything else. All right, there we go. We killed him, the little weasel. Okay. So using that skill does take down my stamina bar. Here we've got to defeat foxes. Is that a fox? Hey, that's my fox. Get out of here. Did I just? Oh my god. Okay, that just looks sick. Alright, let's uh... Keep going through these basic quests. Taofang's only gonna get stronger. Quick look at my AP at the moment, 9 and 0 defense. So, while I said I haven't prepared any items, one thing I know of is that a one of the bows that you want to use for the longest time is the Black Horn Bow, and that can be obtained from the uh, from our Alfredo in Velia. You've just got to do the Amity game. So that's one thing I'm probably going to get 
for this guy and get it maxed out because what it will do is increase accuracy when you increase the rating and from what I can gather is that you definitely want accuracy on a blader and eventually you'll only replace that maybe with the white horn bow for the AP when you get some boss gloves to get the accuracy boost again because accuracy is a massive part of the blader not entirely sure what all those sounds are Go. Let's get the rest of the wolves. I love that attack. Awesome. A skill can be learned. Maneuver training. Out of curiosity, what is maneuver training? Enhances your evasion. That's kind of cool. Attack power as well. So, one, two, three. Okay. You can get an extra 10. Oh, you've got to be fairly high for that last bit, though. Still, not bad. Required level higher than 80. Yikes. So that's probably, that's probably about as far as I'm going to go on that skill. Anyway, let's see what the old spirit wants. Defeat Imp Soldiers, finally. I wonder if the blader gets a grab and what is it going to look like. Alright, so that CC'd him. Okay. Let me just move some of my skills around here. Shift right mouse button. Okay, so I so I want to learn the combo so I don't need to, you know, use the hot bar if I can help it. And we killed them dead pretty easily. It's going to take some getting used to. It's mostly because I keep right clicking. There we go. One more. One more. Sorted. Now this is going to have me go around this imp area for a while, which I'll do. But, um... But yeah, for this little series I'm going to do, for Taofang here, I'm not going to show every single quest I do. And I'm going to try and limit it down for, like, key points and story if possible. But most of this is about getting your character stronger at the moment, so you'll be fighting a lot of imps and that type of thing. And then we'll be making our way to Velia and talking, so don't worry, you're not going to miss too much. And when I actually get a bit stronger and we're fighting more interesting enemies and I'm going to do a few more combos, then I will start showing you everything once again. And I'll also show where to get the black horn bow that I was talking about. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you're going to enjoy this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or any suggestions. Just let me know in the comment section of the video. Until next time, thanks for watching.